Hey pumpkins, welcome back to my kitchen. And tonight I'm gonna show you guys how I make chili dog casserole. We're doing the recipe in half, so if you're ready to get cooking, get on your apron, get in the kitchen, and let's get cooking. Okay, so before I get started, I want to let you know that this recipe is listed in volume two of my cookbook sets. These are available on Amazon. They're $15 a piece, 25 recipes in each book that are completely different. There's a mixture between desserts, uh, supper, breakfast, uh, sauces little difference in everything my famous meatloaf is in volume one and the particular recipe we are cooking can be found in volume two so make sure you go check out those those are always linked down below in my link tree under my amazon storefront so make sure to check that out. all right i'm going to start by cutting uh 14 ounces of cocktail wieners in half So once you are done cutting up your cocktail wieners, go ahead and set them to the side and head over to your stove. All right, into a pan, I have two pounds of ground beef. We're gonna go ahead and brown it, ground it, strain it, and drain it. Make sure this gets all good and cooked up. Don't worry about seasoning it just yet. Okay, so we have drained and strained the beef. Now to the same skillet, we are going to add in those cocktail weenies and we're going to start just sauteing them up really well. Alright, so once the um, cocktail weenies are just a little brown, go ahead and add your meat. And then we are going to start seasoning all of this meat up. So we are gonna add in some easy onion or some minced onion. All measurements, again, will be in my cookbook that are, they're both available on Amazon, always linked below. We're also gonna add in about, I'm gonna tell you, about two tablespoons of Washer Sister Sauce, some complete seasoning, some garlic powder, Some white pepper. You can use um, regular black pepper if you don't have white pepper. Um, and I'm also going to add in some chili powder. Along with some dried oregano. You can use fresh oregano if you want. But I use dried just because it's a little bit easier. And then I'm going to add in some ketchup just a hefty amount all right so i just have a 14 and a half ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes i got these from aldi don't drain it just add it in and stir this in we're gonna let this simmer for about five or so minutes on the stove by all right, so we are shredding a full block of uh, extra sharp cheddar cheese. Um, this makes two cups, and we also have about a cup and a half of um, some Colby Jack that we're gonna use. I always recommend using fresh shredded cheese because it tastes better and it melts better. So go ahead and shred up all of your cheese and meet us back here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing up some Jiffy cornbread mix. You're just gonna need a bowl, Jiffy Mix, one egg, and a third cup, cup of milk. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in like a cup and a half of Colby Jack cheese to our Jiffy Mix to make it 
um, a cheesy cornbread that we're going to put on top. Then you're going to mix all of this together. Okay, this has been simmering for about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add in all of that sharp cheddar cheese that we cut up. And you're just going to let this melt all into it. And then we're going to start assembling the casserole. Y'all, if you look, use aluminum, it is just so much easier to clean up. So we have an aluminum pan here, like, almost like a 9 by 13 We're going to spray it with some non-cook stick spray, non-stick non cooking spray. <laughs> Um, we get these from uh, Sam's in a dual pack. Best stuff on earth. Okay. So we are just adding our layer of meat to the very bottom of the pan and spreading it out evenly. Making sure to get all that goodness. All that goodness. Please ignore the fish treats in the back for the girls. But we are just going to make sure it's evenly distributed you can cut the meat you can use one pound of meat if you want um but we just use two pounds all right so now we have the jiffy mix and you are just going to dollop it on top and as evenly as you can try to spread this over the top of your casserole just make sure you get it all out and then we'll start to spread it. We're gonna go ahead and pop this in our 425 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. In she goes. All right, so we just pulled it out of the oven and this is what it looks like. We're gonna let it sit for about five minutes before we cut into it. And then I'll show you what it looks like plated. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut into it. Um, this can also be frozen, so that's a good thing about this meal, is that it can be frozen, and we are just going to plate some up for Charlie and myself, and we will come back with a taste test. Okay, so Charlie and I are going to get a bite ready on our fork. Um, I have a little bit of everything. Yes, ma'am. That's good. It was a nice addition. That was that was so. Nice. In the cookbook, I did not tell you to put the Jiffy mix on it, but it was definitely a great addition to the casserole. Um, I think this is a good one. So make sure you check it out in the cookbook. Remember to spread love, kindness, positivity to yourself and others. And until next time, stay cool and be you. Bye. Bye.